You know, if you talk to a plant about green energy, it would probably say, dude, come on, I lack the cognitive and physical architecture required to produce and understand language. But then it might say, ew, green, gross. Because green is exactly what plants don't want, right? They love all the other colors. They absorb that light and turn it into energy to live and grow. But green light, they reject it. They reflect it away. That's why they look green. When you say that a leaf is green, you are saying that that leaf is what it doesn't eat. <laughs> but why are leaves green? Well, Minute Earth has a great couple of videos about this, and as it turns out, we don't know. There are a lot of theories. For example, it could have been that when chlorophyll evolved as a molecule that plants used, the only other living organisms were on the surface of the ocean, and they were purple. They absorbed the greens and yellows, meaning below them, deeper in the ocean, where the ancestors of green plants evolved, there wasn't a lot of green to eat, so chlorophyll was perfect for them. And then the plants stayed green. We don't really know why, but it could be that absorbing every wavelength of light makes you too hot. If leaves were black, they might burn on the surface. And of course, leaves don't just reject the green. They do absorb a little bit through their thickness. So they do make the most of the light that they get. They just do it more slowly. Anyway, I think it's fascinating that we so often define things by what they emit, not by what is inside them. What if instead of introspecting, who am I? You went and asked your toilet who you were instead. Would it give a different answer? 